I'm going to teach you how to superset exercises inside your strength training program and we're going to start right now. What's up everybody, it's Dave Miller from GarageStrength.com and if this is your first time to the channel and you want to become a better athlete, you want to be more explosive, you want to run faster, you want to get stronger, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so that we can help you become a champion. So shout out to our YouTube community and specifically Steven Ambata for giving us this idea on how we can teach and educate our viewers behind the principles of supersetting. So for the last decade here at Garage Strength, we've utilized supersetting inside our performance-based programs every single day in every single sport. In sports performance, we've dominated because of what the principles of supersetting have done for our training. We've had a ton of success and a lot of this goes back to my time spent around one of the best strength coaches to ever walk the planet, and that's Charles Poliquin. So I was fortunate enough to go to Rhode Island and be around Charles Poliquin and many of his other coaches multiple different times. And a lot of that also comes from the fact that Adam Nelson, the 2004 Olympic champion, had helped me. He had guided me to head up to see Charles, to meet Charles, and to learn about his principles behind training. And that main key principle was understanding supersetting and learning why supersetting is so important. And that's what we're gonna start right now. So before we go into supersetting, let's try to understand what the heck is it, right? So if we can think about what is a superset, let's use an example like the bench press, okay? So if we're gonna be supersetting, almost always, I would say 85 to 90% of the time, we're gonna be supersetting two exercises together. So there's gonna be a prime mover, a prime focus. So let's say in this case, it's the bench press. So we'll have the bench press. And now what I like to do is I like to pair this with an antagonistic muscle, muscle group, or an exercise that's gonna help recover from the bench press. So it could be two different exercises. If we're trying to increase volume and we're trying to lead to, maybe it's bodybuilding, anything along those lines, we would pair pull-ups with the bench press. If we can think about it, we're dealing with bench press, it's gonna be the anterior chain with your upper body, a lot of pecs, a lot of shoulders, a lot of triceps. So now if we get to the posterior chain, we're gonna be working with a lot of lats, uh, more rhomboids, a little bit of rear delts. So this is how you would pair a supersetted situation. Now, if you're looking to increase the actual performance of the bench press, Pull-ups might be a little bit more taxing to increase in your bench, unless you're only doing doubles or triples and you're getting about two to two and a half minutes rest. I would recommend if you're gonna try and increase your bench press, you actually do something very simple, like a hammer curl, okay? So let's say we do a bench press for a set of five, real heavy set of five. Now we're gonna rest about a minute, we're gonna go over, we're gonna do hammer curls for eight to 10 reps. Okay, then after those hammer curls, we're gonna try and rest for about two minutes before we get back onto the bench press. So this is a very simple way that we like to superset things together. Another example might be you hit a set of dips and then you rest a minute and then you go hit a set of chin-ups and then you rest about two minutes. That's another way to get a whole bunch of work done in a short period of time, but that's the key principle behind supersetting. So now, Let's go into those four key elements that lead to the development of the effectiveness of supersetting. So coming in at that number four spot for why supersetting is so awesome is the fact that it helps in situations where there's a time crunch. So in the world of sports performance, when we're engaged in the world today, especially here in the United States, we've got a minimal amount of time that we're dealing with athletes, especially at the high school level. We might only have 45 minutes to an hour to spend time with an athlete, and they might only be coming to the gym two to three days a week. So the whole goal is to focus on what we can get done in that very short period of time. And when we superset, we're able to pair two different exercises and optimize that time that the athlete is actually in the gym. 
So when we're on a time crunch, I highly, highly, highly recommend supersetting so that you're able to improve that individual's experience in your gym and ultimately improve their ability as an athlete. So coming in at that number three spot with the element behind supersetting is it actually promotes recovery. And so a lot of people are sitting there thinking, there's no way, how's it gonna re promote recovery? If we're doing a bench and then we're doing a pull-up, how is that gonna promote recovery? But there's actually empirical evidence that will show that when you execute a bench press and you take about a minute and then you go execute a pull-up, three to five reps, then you rest two minutes, that pull-up set is actually going to expedite your recovery from the bench press. Another aspect behind that recovery is now those antagonistic muscles, so your lats, your rhomboids, are gonna be a little bit more aware, a little bit more active. And that's gonna help provide a better shoulder co-contraction, which is gonna make your shoulder girdle more stable when you're bench pressing, and in turn, is going to increase the performance of your bench press. So coming in at number two spot, I like to focus on supersetting because it promotes structural balance. So if we're thinking about bench pressing again, using our standard example, we're bench pressing and we're doing pull-ups, or, or maybe we're, we're doing a dumbbell incline and a lat pull-down, something simple like that. Now, what's gonna happen is most lifters, especially younger athletes and, and guys in their early 20s, they just wanna bench all the time. They get super internally rotated, then their pecs get tight. Then all of a sudden now, because their pecs tight, they try to avoid that, they try and do some shoulder pressing, but they're internally rotated, then they hurt their shoulder. That's because they, they don't have structural integrity. So that's the big key here is that if we're fully developing muscle mass throughout our entire upper body, so we're hitting some big lifts with dumbbell incline bench, and then we're hitting our lats and our rhomboids, you know, anything around our scap to retract, here now with our upper back, our upper back is going to lead to some serious muscle mass gains that's also going to help improve the strength and the size in our front side of our upper body. So our pecs are gonna get stronger, our shoulders are gonna get stronger, and our back is going to get stronger, and ultimately that leads to more structural balance. And so if we can even think about when we discuss this from a recovery perspective, we had mentioned that when you're doing those pull-ups, those pull-ups superseted with the bench actually led to a little bit more of an active upper back. Now, when we have that upper back, we have better co-contraction, which leads to more structural stability in our shoulder. And again, that leads to greater power output. So if we're structurally balanced, let's say we're training our legs as well, and our, and our knee joint has better co-contraction, that helps us improve the stability around that knee joint or our hip joint, whatever it might be. So it's really, really important to understand that supersetting can dramatically increase our structural balance and our structural integrity. So before we head into that number one aspect behind supersetting, you can click on a link down below and you can get a free bench pressing program that utilizes supersetting, or you can click on the mass builder link that's also in the description, and we utilize supersetting to help you increase muscle mass throughout your entire body. Now coming in at that number one spot behind supersetting is the fact that you can get a ton of volume done. So if you can remember back to that time crunch, now if you think about it, if you're going in and you're hitting upper body at garage strength in a 60 minute time frame, you're gonna be doing your, your pecs, you're gonna be doing your back, you're gonna be doing some bicep work, you're gonna be doing some tricep work, you might even be doing some shoulder work, and now in one workout, you're stimulating a ton of growth throughout your entire upper body. And then you might take two or three days off and come back and do that again. So you're hitting much, multiple muscle groups multiple times in a week. And oftentimes, guys that are training for mass or training for bodybuilding or even training for sports performance, might only hit muscle groups once a week. So one of the big factors that we pride ourselves on is that our athletes are so advanced at the high school level, at the collegiate level, at the post-collegiate level, at the professional level, because they are trained in a high volume system. Their body adapts rapidly from that high volume and that all goes back to 
the fact that we superset on a regular basis. So one of the key factors, the absolute most important factor behind supersetting is you're able to do a ton of volume in a very short period of time. And when you do this regularly over three, four, five years, especially in the world of sports performance, that's when you can take somebody from sixth grade or seventh grade and develop and expedite their developmental process so that by the time they're in 10th or 11th grade, they're that four-star recruit who's guaranteed to go to a power five football program. And it all comes back to the principles behind supersetting. So I recommend using the ideology of supersetting if you're a bodybuilder, if you're a weightlifter, if you are in sports performance, because it can dramatically improve all of your training aspects. And if you want more information, you can click on the link down below. You can pick up our mass builder program. It's a 12 week program to help you increase size. If you want more information behind general strength training, you can click on this video right here until next time, guys. Peace.